Just in time. Just in time. Like before it killed me. Oh, God, I, I, I can't die. Those boys can't lose another parent. Eli just got to the point where he's not crying at night. They, they need me. They need me. Okay, the bowel seems to have ruptured. Let's uh, get her intubated and prepped. She's moving too much. Okay, let's push her under the propofol and under the sucks. Already on it? Good. I... Oops. Oh, my God. Oh, God, did you... I'm so sorry. Okay, everybody, stop. Listen to me. The propofol sucks had just been accidentally injected into my IV, which means I have about 30 seconds until I will be paralyzed. So let's page the chief. The Lucas start the surgery stat. Uh, I'm going to need somebody to put a tube in me because once I'm down, I'm going to lose my airway, and if I can't breathe, then I will die. I'd also appreciate it if somebody could help me by breaking my fall. Now, dry the tube in between his vocal cords. Dr. Hahn, you may experience some discomfort now. Schmidt, he can't hear you. I've never done this. That doesn't mean you can't. All right, now, Bovey. I did it. I did it! Okay, do not stop begging, OK? Get him upstairs, hook him up with some fluids. Now, come on, let's go. And he said that he had the flu. I mean, I told him to go home. But what is it? Is it pneumonia, a PE? What happened to him? He was injected with a paralytic by mistake in surgery. Oh. Um, that's, uh... I'm watching him. I promise I'll make sure he comes through. Respectfully, I'm not going anywhere. Hey. What? No one has ever started a sentence to me with the word respectfully. They did the subtotal colectomy, and she's in recovery. Oh, great. Thank you. And thank you for not dying. <laughs> OK, we're done. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Schmidt. But everybody calls me. You know what? No. Just Dr. Schmidt. Mm -hmm. uh, How are you feeling? Oh, like I got hit with a brick. That <laughs> was your first day with Pierce. <laughs> yeah, well, she is Amelia's sister, so. All right, you know what? Um... Listen. I didn't do anything to Amelia. I didn't. I didn't set out to hurt anyone. And I know that I'm. I'm not perfect, and I have made plenty of mistakes here. But you showed up in Germany, and then you came back here, and you did what you did. So please, just stop making everything my fault. Lunch stool was my perfect job. I was in charge. I was respected, and they've not yet filled that position. And in Germany, the maternity leave is is really generous. <laughs> You're saying you want to go back? I'm saying I'm having a hard time wanting to stay here and answer to a 20-something who hates me. I'm saying I don't understand why I'm the only one who has to sacrifice anything so that our kid has two parents. I mean, you could move to Germany. They've got a great paternity leave there, too. Stay here. We're in trauma. I don't want to work for you, Owen. Are you even listening no, no, to no. me? I'm saying run the department. I'll work for you. But you're more than qualified, and we still have a position that we haven't filled. And, and you're right. Teddy, you sacrificed a lot to come here. And now, now is my turn. Are you giving me your job? Teddy, 